This stuff is like waterproof mascara, but for your brows. Hey guys, it's Abby, welcome back. So I was in the market recently for a new brow product and I was looking for something that was not a pencil because I go through pencils like candy. Like these e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencils, these are pretty much the same thing as like the Anastasia Brow Wiz and the NYX Micro Brow, but these are a lot cheaper. But I just, I go through these in like a month. And also if I'm wearing a mask all day, I have to like push my glasses up to put my mask on like over my nose where it's supposed to go and that can kind of rub the product away in the middle here. So if I wear a pencil only, it like just toward the end of the day, this whole like this whole section right here, brow is gone. Now, normally I actually wouldn't go for a higher end brow product just because I do go through them so fast. It's kind of pointless if there is a cheaper option. So the only non-pencil brow products that I've tried are the Anastasia Dip Brow and then the NYX Tame and Frame, which is kind of similar to the Dip Brow. And they did stay on for a decent amount of time. However, they were really easy to get out of hand with the application. So I did not want to go for a pomade like that again. I wanted to try a totally different concept. And then with those, they're not a one-step product either. So you would still need a clear brow gel afterwards and I, my, my brows if you're like me they just they're like my lashes they just point straight down I don't know what the deal is so when I saw that they had come out with this the Urban Decay inked brow I was like man I gotta try that I'm a sucker for a good brow product or a liquid lipstick and you guys I have found my holy grail brow product I'll insert a demo of me applying it here I applied it today and I, I kind of pause at the end so you can see how it looks compared to like nothing on my brows. Like my brows pretty much don't exist without any product on them. So this applies actually really, really easily and you do have a little bit of play time with it. So if you make a mistake, you can just take your finger and quickly wipe it and it'll come off. Just don't wait until it's set. The only problem that I've had with this so far is that if I don't keep up with my brow hairs, they kind of get a little long. And if you have really long hairs with this, it kind of can make them clumpy and like stick together. And then there you have a spot with like no product in it, but I just kind of fill that in with a pencil if that happens. I've just been keeping up with my, keeping them trimmed. So what I'll do is I'll take a little, this thing, and just some kind of tool like this and just kind of brush them down and then take tiny little scissors and just trim along the bottom and that way they're not super long. And my brows can get kind of curly, so it kind of helps with that too. Not curly like all the way around, but you know, they kind of do that. So this isn't like a brow mascara where it kind of only works if you have hairs there, but it also acts kind of like a pomade as well where it will fill in where you don't have any hairs. So this would totally work for you if you have less hairs than I do or even no hairs at all. I mean, I know sometimes I've been tempted to shave off my brows, but then I would have no frame of reference to where to draw them back on, so I just leave them. And also, if you have better eyesight than me and more patience, you could totally use this to do that bushy brow, like draw the individual hairs, but I ain't got time for all that. This comes in seven different colors, and I have the shade Taupe Trap. It's a pretty good shade. It's a tiny bit dark. This is this would probably match my natural hair color though. I just freshly bleached it. And this retails for $26, which is a little bit pricey, but it's totally worth it. Especially I'm curious to see how long a tube lasts of this. And also you don't need another like clear brow gel over top of it because it holds and adds color and everything all in one. And I honestly wouldn't even try to do a clear brow gel over top of this because it would be super cakey. And also when it dries, before it dries, it kind of looks a little weird, but it dries down. It gets a little more matte as it dries too. Like when you first put it on, it looks kind of shiny, but like now I applied it maybe 30, 40 minutes ago and it looks fine. Let me zoom you in and so you can see that. Can you see there, is it focusing? So all in all, highly recommend this. I would say I would give it about a nine out of 10. It does kind of get clumpy on the brow hairs, but I don't know how to fix that. I mean, they just have to kind of work with it and don't put too much on. You do have to wipe off the brush. Like sometimes you'll pull it out and there's a big glob. You just kind of wipe it off just a tiny little bit. That way there's not way too much product going on because it's kind of, you can kind of blend it out, but just I would use less first rather than more and try to blend it out. But I do recommend this product. Try it out if it's in your price range. I wish there was like a drugstore alternative. I don't, I haven't heard of one. So if you know one that's cruelty-free and vegan, 
let me know. I'm also glad this was vegan because some long wear products like even waterproof mascaras are not vegan, but this one is. And Urban Decay has a lack of vegan products. Do Urban Decay get on that? <laughs> Need to make some more vegan stuff. But if you want to know how I got this eye look, I just posted an Instagram reel, so go follow me on Instagram. It's at AskLand, same way it's spelled here. But let me know in the comments what your favorite brow product is and click up here to watch my latest video or click up here to watch my makeup if I wasn't a YouTuber video. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss my face in your subscription box every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday at noon Eastern time. Social media, my business, Cruelty for will be in the description box below and I will see you in the comments. Bye!